Oh, shit. All right, howdy doody, howdy doody. First of all, colors, mushrooms, gummies, Lucy 15 for discount code, 15% off, L-O-O-S-E-Y-1-5. You get 15% off, I get six bucks. <laughs> Everybody wins. Now for tour dates, where are we going? Tempe Improv, we got two shows sold out. Let's make all five sold out. Pretty please, I'll give you one square of a gummy. Not the <laughs> bottle, not the bottle, I'll lose money. I'll lose money, I'll get one square. <laughs> Um, Tempe Improv, then we got uh, San Jose, Richmond, Virginia, Virginia Beach, Spokane, SLC, Des Moines, Omaha, Portland, Tacoma, Hasbrook Heights, Tampa, Orlando, Greensboro, Charlotte, Detroit, Niles. Niles just sold out. Uh, there's more though. Fort Worth, Wichita Falls, Chicago, Kansas, St. Louis, Little Rock, Jacksonville, Greenville, New York City, Dania Beach, and finally my special, December 21st, Sacramento, California, at the Crest Theater. Get your tickets now. Get goosed up. I love you all. Tune in. This is a nice one. I'm all sweet and positive. Don't worry. We'll go dark tomorrow. We'll go dark. <laughs> it's not as hard. I love you all. Tune in right now. There's a little audio, like, tick, tick, tick thing that I think is gone now, but just we find if it happens was it a tick tick or a talk talk <laughs> <laughs> oh shit it is echoey as fuck in here it is oh no sorry audio listeners what are you smiling at <laughs> <laughs> i said that no we are a work in progress aren't we all namaste i'm uh, no i'm i'm moving i'm moving i don't know if you've ever moved before but it is all fun and not stressful at all. <laughs> Words are powerful. It is. You know, it's, I think I've spoken of this, but when you're moving, you're just thinking about moving. You're just thinking about moving. It's not the labor of it. I don't give, I mean, the big shit. Yeah, that sucks. But it's not, it's not, 90% of the labor is fine. It's the brain activity mm -hmm. of where to put everything. Oh, does that cubby make sense for those band-aids? Boy, I hope so. And then you lose sleep over it. That wasn't the right cubby for the band-aids. I should have put the first aid kit in that bathroom. <laughs> Stupid. What is going on? You this big I have a son and I'm thinking about band-aids in a cubby. What people would like this. I know I'm not the only one. You lose sleep. Oh, I put the highlighters in the wrong drawer. <laughs> it's fuck your fucking highlighter. Go live life. Go to the beach. Oh, I was sneaking in the beach. I went to the beach. Am I golden? <laughs> I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's the brain activity. Also, too, I'm just like the certifiable genius that's really good at everything. Okay, bro. I fucking struggle, dude. I struggle. You know, you witness me. Witness me, Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I got a cube on me for? Get off me. I got, I'm all over the place. I know this. I'm a hot mess. But I'm a funny hot mess. Speaking of being funny, holy shit. Man. Oh, that's it. That's all I want to say. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just so fucking blessed, dude. Yeah, I said it. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hashtag gay, bro. <laughs> Anybody who says the word blessed is gay. I stand by that. Anyways, I'm blessed. <laughs> 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 Why is some shit like, I? that's a good word. That's a good word. But there's a little stain on it. And I don't like saying it. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like singing Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi rocks. But if you sing it, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The stupid bar that ruined living on a prayer. It's a good song. It's a good song. There's a reason everybody sings it. But the moment they do that at a bar, I'm out of there. I'm going to the bathroom to do meth like a man. That's right. I said it. Bon Jovi comes on. I'm doing speed. You pussy boys don't get it. Go get your dick hard. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Don't do that. Go to ayahuasca. Get limp dick. <laughs> I'm a silly goose. 
Just, just, uh, just, uh, you know, I have silly, naughty humor, farts, poops, boners. What else can you ask for? Just silly. Is that bad? No. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can make this. Oh, that was pretty close for across the room. Oh, back to comedy. Bless. See, I go on these r rants, tangents. I'm speaking funny. I'm silly. I'm silly today. This is going to be a good one. You just go like that. You ever just make faces at strangers? <laughs> and they like, oh, sir. Why are you looking at my dog that way? I, me and him get it. <laughs> me and him get it. I'm going to sniff my ass. I can't reach. I can't reach, but I would if I could. <laughs> I would if I could. You know I would. I'd be sniffing my ass. Sour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too far, Craig. Get back to the bless. Bro, winning. Shows. Everything. This is crazy. I'm just getting the calls because I don't read my emails. Did you read your email? <laughs> I don't fucking want to, nerd boy. You get me the work, agent man. I sell it out. No, he's asking me all these questions on emails. And this is... I have 58 unread emails. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I got to go to Costco and eat hot dogs. I got priorities. Suits. They have to call me. It was about the Australia tour. All good good things. They're not even problems. It's just work. It's just like... It's blessed. Anyways, they they have to call me because they don't read my emails. As I say that as a joke, I realize that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Craig, read your fucking emails. I'm going to Australia. The tour uh, is public in a week, I believe. We're working on the Legius DX. And then um, I did all three clubs on Friday night. The Laugh Factory, the Comedy Store, and the Improv. That's fucking dope. And then, uh, yeah, I just keep getting emails. All my shows are selling out or close to sold out. And they're adding late shows and shit. And then on Saturday, this is the funniest shit ever. So I'm, I'm naming everybody. Who gives a fuck? That's life. Stephen Fury runs an awesome show in the belly room called Comedy Confidential. And what people do is they write a secret on a tag, a paper, not a tag. <laughs> who says tag? <laughs> and they put it in a bucket. And, and like, this shit's gnarly, bro. Some of it's funny. Some of them is like, I peed on somebody at a bar in Hermosa. <laughs> through the window. Through the window. They didn't know it was me. <laughs> I'm not sick. I ain't peeing on no <laughs> woman like that. That's sick. You guys are sick. Stop pooping on each other, you sick <laughs> bastards. There's a thing out there. No, I was just pissing through a window like as a bad man. Just like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Feel that sprinkler outside? It's not. It's my picker. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not proud of it. That's a secret. I'm just joking. This is satire. I never did that in my life. So you write a secret on a, on a tag. Ah. Oh, and you put it in the bucket and, and comics draw it out and they read it and they riff on it. And it's fucking hilarious. It's a great show. You actually get bits out of it. It turns because it's fun, bro. And he sold out the last nine of them. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Now Brittany Schmidt and Brittany Furlon are on the show. I hope I said her last name right. Anyhow, they're both very funny comics. They're dear friends of mine. Brittany Schmidt is my goddamn ride or die. I love her. Brittany Furlon's dope as fuck. And I'm, she's newer to me. I've known her maybe a year now. And uh, they're both awesome. They have a podcast together. Uh, the, uh, the Worst Podcast is a good podcast. Check it out. They're already blowing the fuck up. Top 50. And they are doing the show. But Brittany's married to Tommy Lee. But fucking Tommy Lee, bro. You know. Montley crew. Yeah, Tommy fucking Lee. So Tommy Lee comes to the show. And who does he roll with? Fucking John Travolta, bro. What? So Tommy Lee and John Travolta <laughs> are going to my boy Com Stephen Fury's Comedy Confidential show with Brittany Schmidt and Brittany Furlon on it. No tickets sold. Show gets canceled. But because of that, they then go to the main room and they watch me do stand up. <laughs> so now I perform for John Travolta and Tommy Lee. And then we're chopping it up. I'm fucking talking to Tommy Lee for like a while. That shit was so weird, bro. But like as like, like I know he's rock star and legend, but like I'm I'm a, a comic. I'm not talking to him as a fanboy, even though I was. <laughs> I was like, I got kicked out of your concert. 
I was lighting firecrackers and jumping on cars. He's like, sounds like a good night. I was like, it was. Shout at the devil. No. <laughs> Dude, what planet is this, bro? Fucking chilling. Got photos. Paparazzi was there. They caught like action shots. I'm going, oh, Tommy. I've known you four hours. <laughs> Bro, it was crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I used to do dishes in my bathtub. <laughs> Go follow your dreams, everybody. I'm chilling with Tommy Lee. We showed each other's our dicks. It was crazy. I'm joking. <laughs> that was a joke. I already seen his <laughs> long time ago. Don't clip that part up. Don't do that. That's bad. He might hear it. He, anyways, like, what'd you say? <laughs> How you were my friend. <laughs> no, it's just wildness. What a what whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even talk, bro. And people, uh, yeah, it's getting, it's just getting, it's getting crazy, bro. So I'm just a regular dude, and they're like, "You're famous." I'm like, "Am I?" <laughs> I was like, "Tommy Lee knows who I am." <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> John Travolta was laughing at me. What? I mean, I'm funny, but it's like it's still <laughs> mind. It's a mind fuck. It's a mind fuck. And you know what's cool? This guy, he, I, I should know this, but he probably has Academy Awards, Oscars. I don't even know. Anyways, uh, John Travolta is a living legend. I love him. I've been a fan of him forever. And uh, like, it's it's weird to say this. I'm not trying to be ego or cocky, but like he, he might be scared of stand up, you know, or it's like it's cool to where like I have something not that they're, you know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, he's a comic. Like, he, he's in the arts. It's hard to explain that. Like, I'm not trying to compare myself to John Travolta, but at the same time, like, it's interesting to think, like, oh, this guy's a comic. He's doing something that I can't. And I'm like, you're a Pulp Fiction. You're fucking <laughs> primary colors, dog. You know, like, I don't know that, but I feel that. Because, like, it, when, when it was just, we were hanging out on a different level. Like, it was just, it was foreign to me. It was like, like, okay, an actor, a rock star, and a comic. Not like Trader Joe's scabs nutsack. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at it, I'm special. Like, ah. Jesus Christ, Craig. I'm so weird. My girl's been pointing shit out on me, too. Like, I don't even notice. Like, I just, I just drink water. But I went like this. Hang on, I don't want to hit the microphone. I like went. Ow. No, I just popped my face. But like I, I did it like Napoleon Dynamite. But like not on purpose. Do you understand? <laughs> I went Foom. And she started laughing. She's like, You drink ridiculous, you know? I'm like, what? She's like, You go like like do a whole thing. <laughs> like your Paula Abdul or some shit. Like fucking doing a little swing. I hung out with her too, speaking of her. That was crazy. She went to the Homie Amir K show. This is a crazy life, bro. I was a Junkie. <laughs> <laughs> Not no more addicted to liquid IV and maybe colors mushrooms gummies. That doesn't count. It doesn't count if they're your sponsor. Speaking of that, colors mushrooms gummies. Get them on the website. They'll ship to you, even in Cambodia. Probably not. <laughs> 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 Enter discount code Lucy15. That's L O O S E Y 1 5. <laughs> that sounds so funny to me. That's true. That's a true discount code. I'm not making jokes. That's how I get paid. So do it. And you say 15%. Did I say that part? Talk about when, when. When, when. Can I get a when? Oh, no, Craig. Stay in the pocket. The colors, mushrooms, gummies. They're micro doses, they're point twos. So you can eat them and go to dinner and not, it's not, it ain't no thing. Eat eight of them. Mm, <laughs> stay home. Stay home. <laughs> eat one to two. You drive. Drive right by a cop. Hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, Tom. I'm fucking fine. <laughs> Nothing on this breath, pussy. You know, because they can't trace it. Loophole. Loophole. You can't drink and drive, but you could do colors, mushrooms, gummies, and drive. No, I'm not promoting that. You know what I just <laughs> Ah, shit. I'm a comedian. You get, you know? I'm a comedian, and I've never really liked the law. Just, you know, just the good. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what time it is. Get the murderers. Get those guys. 
Leave me and my daddy alone. <laughs> <laughs> Silly goose. Yeah, Tom, Tommy fucking Lee. Nicest dudes ever, by the way. Nicest dudes. I mean that. You meet some famous fucks, and they're not always so warm. They, uh, John, too, is just sweet. He said, good to see you. I was like, how'd you know I met you when I was eight years old? I met him when he was <laughs> filming Primary Colors. I got a photo. We'll insert it here. I actually was looking at it the other day. And then he popped up in my life for real. Isn't that crazy? That is. Whenever, well, however old I was, I don't know, eight to 10, when they were filming Primary Colors, they filmed it in Wilmington at the Banyan Mansion right down the street from my mama and my aunt's house. And uh, yeah, we all went and uh, met Billy Bob Thornton, uh, uh, John Travolta, and Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson, yeah. They all came out. And then the people that was like police barrier tape, like stay back. Somebody broke in, like swarmed them, and all the actors ran, and not John. And I didn't tell him that. Clip that up. No, not in <laughs> He probably doesn't watch IG. Anyways, but yeah, he stayed. He stayed and, and just dealt with the mob, and the rest fluttered. Billy Bob, I see you. I'm kidding. <laughs> he was cool as fuck, too. It was cool. And, uh, yeah, I have a photo. I have, like, braces, and I'm like this. <laughs> right next to John. I didn't get a photo with John. He, They don't love the photos. I feel bad, but... You want one, you know? Come on. They don't hang out there that often. Fucking once or twice a year, bro. The fact that they watched me. And then the server, I made sure, like, I, I was like, don't lie to me. Was, that, was, was John laughing? <laughs> <laughs> and he was. He was. According to several different people. But I don't like liars. Like, I want to earn it. If he was going, oh, you tell me. I like that, too. <laughs> He squirmed at dick cheese? Why? Why? <laughs> um, yeah, what a wild life. Should I just keep free flowing? I looked at the notes. I'm like, I don't like my notes. <laughs> I don't like my notes. What? Um, so much. Just so much. Oh, I probably shouldn't talk about this, but who cares? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Um, so I haven't even really pushed it other than the podcast and Sacramento is already selling extremely well for not making it public, not announcing the special, just softly on here, you know, not really posting and promoting in our clips machine. And, um, we're already at like 200 tickets sold without, and it's in December. I might do two of them bad boys, but, um, yeah, I, I talked to a production company, and that's looking good. And then I talked to a producer, a financier. I just say it. I don't know if he wants me to say it. Who cares, dude? I'm so happy, <laughs> dude. I hit up uh, Bobby at the comedy store, and I was like, hey, man, Bobby Lee. And I was like, hey, fool. Um, I was so uncomfortable because I don't really like asking this, but also, like, it's a substantial amount of money for me, and it's not for him. He's rich as fuck, bro. Mm -hmm. And I've known him, like, 10, 11 years. And I've seen his so we're good. I'm kidding. We'll bleep that. We'll bleep that. Just the one word. And then, uh, and uh, um, he, uh, you know, <laughs> I just was floundering, you know, like I am right now. I was like, hey, uh, yeah, it's a hard thing to ask, you know? Like, hey, you want to finance my special? He's like, just spit it out. Because that's Bobby. Spit the fuck out. I was like, you want to finance my special? He goes, how much is it going to be? And I was like, I said, how much? And then he was like, I'll do half. And I, went, and I started dancing. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit up another famous fuck. But I won't name them because I haven't asked them yet. And what if they say no? And then you'll know. <laughs> you know, you know. They got millions, bro. But I'll do it too. When I get there, I will 1 million percent give it back. I even said I'll pay you back too. And I could take the hit, but it's a hit, you know. It's like, a, oh, hi now. He gets a producer credit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You don't need of them. course. No. That's exactly what he said. I was like, I'll pay you back. He said, just put me down as producer. I was like, I thought you might want me to be like a mistress and don't tell nobody. <laughs> Though I, you, I did. Because then everyone's going to ask yeah. him. I swear to God. I was like, it could be secret. It could be public. It could be this. It could be that. I don't give a fuck. I just need help. And uh, he was like, hell yeah. And uh, watch him back out now. And then these people are like, Craig's a liar. I'm like, no, he broke my heart. <laughs> Looks like I'll be hitting up Amex personal loan. Much rather get it off Bobby and some famous fucks. Yeah, that's cool. 
That shit's lining up, bro. Thank God. Because I got bills to pay. So I am circulating money. I am circulating money. This shit is, I mean, I, I preach and I preach and I preach. Basically, all the shit I watch on TikTok. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I just download it and share it. But it's the true. It's the it's the rich dad, poor dad. Not, I can't afford that. How can I? When you switch that shit, watch your life change. I'm living proof. I was a little broke boy. Now I got one piece of gold. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just, there's an angle in the game and everything. There just is. And if you have a positive attitude, you could see it. And you can, I don't give a fuck. Look at Gary V. That guy annoys me now, but I still love him. I love you, Gary V. I'm sorry. You're just a little too aggressive for too long. Do some ayahuasca. Calm down, sir. But he's slinging Hot Wheels. That shit's fun. Me and my girl are always, uh, I, we haven't really done done it yet. We did it loosely. But remember the flipping furniture? Yeah. Everything's a fucking process. But we came up on shit and we sold a few things. And it's fun. It's fucking fun. We don't even need to, but why not? It's free on the street right there. It's free on the fucking street. And then you start following Facebook accounts and seeing people that flip furniture for a living and you start adding it up, see how much they make. It's crazy. It's crazy. And even if it's just loose as a hobby, it's like, it's just fun. I like that stuff. I've always liked American Pickers and Storage Wars, minus the the name of it, you know, my thoughts on that cupcake wars. Why can't we just celebrate cupcakes? <laughs> Why did it got to be a goddamn war over a fucking cupcake? This is a good day. How about cupcake love? How about that? <laughs> Everything war, 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 war. You going to put war on, on cupcakes? Get out of here. These stupid producers. Not Bobby, though. He's a good one. He's a smart man. <laughs> Wait, what was I talking about? Oh, just... uh. Yeah, I love I love Antique Roadshow. I used to watch as a kid with Nana. Oh, my God. It's so fun. It just flips shit, and you get money. Who doesn't like money? And then you go buy hot dogs at Costco. So I, me and my girl have different mindsets of the flipping game because I look at it as like, oh, let's find that thing, sell it, and then spend it. She finds that thing, sells it for profit, and then keeps that money pool going in that sales world. To see how big it can get. Like that paperclip lady that traded a paperclip all the way up. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? I watched that too many times. Did you watch that thing? No. There's a Craigslist lady that just got free shit and kept upgrading it. Over like a year or two, she turned a paperclip into like a car. And she documents the entire process <laughs> of it. It's fascinating. I don't got that much time. She was like, you know, I'm like, give me 50 bucks. I got some firecrackers on there. I got some. You need some? You want to throw some again? New walls. New walls. <laughs> gotta break them in. I gotta spruce this place up. We're gonna get some shelving, some plants, a rug, those cushions on the wall so it's not so echoey. I found it in the cushion on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist, great. I could say that. Chicano power. Kill Whitey. Too far, <laughs> too far, too far, Craig. You can say that. It's funny. You can't say that with the other ones. I dare you. Come on, say it. I ain't doing it. I got a career now. <laughs> what else? Just yeah. Oh, I downloaded something off the off the TikTok. I'll share it. I forgot this guy. He's too buff. I don't like him. You and your jaw. Get out of here. Big thick jaw, man big beard but he's winning but he was talking about oh man i'm gonna butcher this one but we'll get the gist of it as always craig conan's bootleg downloads from tiktoks namaste stoicism stoic who knows <laughs> marcus aurelius knows but he was saying uh optimist he said pessimists are right 99 percent of the time and optimists like win it all that one percent of the time meaning like he was talking about his story and how he failed on nine businesses in a row nine nine he kept saying nine but it really hit i'm like damn that's a lot to fail at nine businesses in a row and then the tenth one hit and he became a millionaire and how like all the pessimists were right 
the first nine fucking times. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. And they were right. And then when they weren't, he was right. And now he got 50 mil, you know, or whatever the fuck he's got. Hormos, that big buff man. He's got a lot of positive shit. I'm annoyed by a lot of these guys too, but they still spit a lot of truth. So I just listen sometimes. But that's true. Isn't that true? Yeah. It's fucking true. Like you know, how many times I was told you can't do comedy and, and like when are you going to get a job? I was like, I got a job. Trader Joe's. <laughs> we'll get a real job. And I was like, bananas need stocking. It's a good job. A good man. <laughs> and people talk shit, you know. It's a good fucking job. And uh, yeah. And now look at me, Tommy Lee. John Travolta, what the fuck, bro? And the comic store is giving me a main room show on my name, headlining. That all coming soon. It's literally in talks. I love sharing it because it's like dope and I'm happy. But then I share it too soon. Like, where are those <laughs> tickets? I'm like, I don't have the date yet. It was it happened like an hour ago. These things are somewhat slow. It depends, but not too. You know, in one to three weeks, it'll all be flyered, clipped up, link up, boop, boop. That's crazy. Theaters in Sacramento, um, Australia tour, working on a UK tour. That shit's slow. It's coming though, because I get messages a lot. And then uh, Comedy Store Main Room, that's huge. That's a huge. That's dope, bro. Yeah, it's weird to live your dream. You feel funny. You just like, <laughs> you know, you know, you <laughs> I feel good, but scared still. <laughs> it's weird. Interesting. Yep. Any questions? Did I finish all my topics? I just wrote down Costco. <laughs> it's one of my notes. Costco. Love it. <laughs> love it. I fucking love it. Just bought a lawn chair I don't need. Don't need it. I bought it. <laughs> Because I love Costco. I got a big old hot dog way too much. I feel <laughs> sick now. That's a splitter. You're supposed to split that hot dog. Too long. I feel sick. It's all beef, though. It's not pork. Organic. <laughs> oh, buck 50. It ain't organic. You're eating the fucking nipples and dicks <laughs> of the cows right there. <laughs> you got some dick. <laughs> it's shaped like a dick and you ate some dick, right? <laughs> I still like tits, though. Hot dog doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> <laughs> this is silliness. Went to Ikea. Ikea lost. It's gone. I'm done. I've been with them a long time. Hmm. It's functional furniture at a fair price. Two year furniture, maybe a little more you buy the higher end stuff. College furniture. Never went to college. <laughs> but it is. It's college furniture. Then you go there now with my new place and and I'm like, hmm. Like we bought soap dispensers. Like toilet brushes. Like mm -hmm. that that's what you go to IKEA for. I'm done with it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to Costco now. No. Costco's got nice furniture, but it's only like one piece. But that shit. Um, isn't that weird? You just grow out of shit. I had a long I had been in a buying IKEA since seriously uh shit, twenty years. You just all of a sudden go, no. You know what it is too? Like IKEA furniture made sense in that old apartment, and this one it doesn't. It's too nice. Mm-hmm. That's another important thing to talk about. I witnessed it with some of my famous fuck friends. And as I become one, it's good to get a place and grow into it. Like, I feel like if I stayed there longer, it would keep me small in my career. And how this, it's weird how I went from a studio to a two bedroom and then I outgrew that place. Remember that? Yeah. And I already know like in one to two years, I'll outgrow this place. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to keep growing. But not like multinational corporations <laughs> swallowing the earth. That's a different kind of growth. Stop consuming. You're going to kill us all. General Electric. Yeah, I snuck it in. There's always a message. Kill your masters. Just kidding. Namaste. Bullets expire. To ayahuasca. 
love light, mushrooms, consciousness, go to church, do anything. The good ones, though. I don't care if you're Muslim, a Jews, a SM, a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> go to the nice ones where they protect the kids. Anyways, stay, stay good. What was I talking about? How do we go there? <laughs> Uh, outgrowing, growing. Oh yeah, just grow into shit. You grow into it. You see shit like mentors, like fucking. We'll bring up Bobby Lee again. I love him, and he's always giving me the best advice throughout my career. And it made the most sense, even though if you didn't want to hear it or it didn't make sense at that time, you didn't. He give you information you didn't want to hear and shit. But later, I'm like, ah, you were right. Of course, he was right. He's been in the game 20, 30 years, or whatever the fuck it is. Probably approaching thirty. Um. But yeah, just watching him say, like, I want to buy, I ain't buying, I want to buy a forever home, like something to grow into. And I just remember downloading that and, and being like, oh. And uh, when he was looking at his move of, of years back, whenever he bought his house. And I went, that's smart. Like, buy something you can grow into. And like, I could grow into this. But this is an apartment. You know how. I'm a fucking man. I want to own my land. Get off my property. <laughs> I have a farm. I have rabbits to protect. Get off my property. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All these lessons, they've all been done before. You know what I mean? If you just pay attention to the game out there, that's how I look at it. Who do I want to be like? And who do I not want to be like? And you know, you know, how to operate that's why i believe you know i've done the like i want to be like bill burr i want to be like bobby lee i want to be like um joe rogan and all these guys are family men they're like they're loyal you see that i i've done it all i've been loyal i've cheated i've done open. none of that shit works that's just for the birds y'all coming from this old pervert right here <laughs> it's union it's team. It's hard. It's all hard. I used to, that shit's empty though. I've seen them. I've seen them later in life play the game, and I'm like, nah. Ugh. and then over here, yeah, they're mad at their wife, you know. But it's <laughs> it's like you know, it's different. There's fulfillment in that one. They're both miserable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but just everything's hard. Nothing's easy, especially if it's worth it, you know. And that that shit's better. And I, I, I'm not even one who I am like that now. It took a lot of work, a lot of puking, a lot of whacking it. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm a comedian. No, yeah. That's why I've been in medicine so long. Motherfuckers make fun of you. Oh, you win 18 times. Yeah, to puke it all out, you dumb sons of bitches. You puke out poisons, traumas, hurts. Bleh. And it takes a long time. It's not just one and done. And then you got to come back here and practice not cheating you're like oh that's fucking i didn't say it <laughs> no but it's this you know you know what time look at look at all the men that cheat and then they lose their family and their wife they're not as good they have a hole in them they got the big old hole so i just see those games and i keep puking it out and then you know it goes away it gets easier and easier and you just grow up I think that's what it is. Some people never grow up. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. There's maturing. I don't. I don't want to grow up in the fun area. I want to tell jokes, be silly, have campfires and farts and firecrackers. That's fun. I'll be eighty farting on a fire, <laughs> saying, "Where's the mortars at? You ain't got Roman candles, you pussy boy. You <laughs> don't know how to do. It. You better believe it. I'll be eighty doing that shit, shooting bottle rockets out my ass." Watch this, kids. Let me show you something. Light my ass on fire because it's all hairy because I'm old now. Oh, <laughs> I backfired. That's not what I'm talking about, like maturing and being like doing the right thing. Because I like always play and be a kid, but not like when it comes to accountability and being a fucking human, human adult. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I'm growing. It's fucking exhausting. 
so much easier. It's like the matrix. It's so much easier to, you know, take the other pill and not wake up. Mm -hmm. Because then you wake up and you're like, oh, God, I got a lot of bullshit. I got to get rid of, you know, and it's work. (laughs) It's fucking work, dude. And, uh, yeah, people don't want to face it. I'm a, I'm a facer, though. I face it. I fight the devil in my booty hole. Come with me, Tommy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've spoken about this before, but I was telling my girl, Emily, that I my family has code words. Mm-hmm. We'll do a recap. Because I thought every family has code words. Yeah, she said that's so weird and not normal at all. Like, nobody has code words. Like, maybe high school friends yeah. or middle school, like, in that communities and shit. Like, mean girls. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know? Like, aguacate. That's the code word. What for? I don't know. I made it up right now because I'm hungry. And I like aguacate. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Anyways, my family's code words. There's so many of them, too. We have a whole system. Um, Tufli means shoe in Russian. 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 I could talk. So if somebody's got some whack-ass shoes, you go, Tufli, Tufli. <laughs> I'm not pointing at your shoes, but I'm pointing at it because you're wearing shoes. Oh, I forgot. This is a no-shoes house. Take those off. I'm kidding. It's too late now. We're trying to keep it clean. It's impossible. No shoes is good. Yeah. It's a good policy. I've never, ever, ever practiced it, but we're going to here. It's a better way. You go to Hollywood, you step on that human caca, and you bring it in. My my, my son crawls here. My son comes here. Um, but Wait, shit. I stay on the task. I was talking about shoes. It is good. And you know what people that practice it, anyone with real weather, you get mud and shit on your mm-hmm. boots. That makes sense. Over here, it's mainly schizophrenic shit matter. Not so much mud. But both, it's good. And then it's in uh, a lot of ancient cultures from, uh, you know, Middle Eastern to Asian cultures. It's just smart. Why would I bring outdoor shit foot in my bedroom? But I'm, it's a hard cycle to break because I've never done it in my entire life. So I'm, uh, that's why you see me go, oh, shoes, and just kick them off in the middle of the hallway real quick. <laughs> I remembered after you walked for 28 minutes. Anyways. You're new here. Don't worry about it. You're a guest. <laughs> Toofly means shoe. So if somebody's wearing whack ass shoes, you go toofly, toofly, and then you make fun of them. It's mainly all shit talking mm-hmm. is what I realized what my family code words were. <laughs> it's a bunch of shit talkers. It's quite funny. Chewing tobacco is when someone has a wedgie. Their ass is so big it eats their bike shorts mm-hmm. and their booty, you know, it's chewing tobacco. Now they make those yoga pants yeah. that purposefully chew tobacco. We used to make fun of you. <laughs> now I just admire it. What it stop it? I don't don't want a boner at Costco. Knock it off. Knock it off. I enjoy it. No, don't don't look. Stay righteous. Stay righteous. What tobacco? <laughs> I don't see no tobacco. Pencil means shut the fuck up. Whoever we're talking shit about is walking up. Pencil. Pencil. I don't know how we came up with that one, but it works. You'd be like pencil, and they'd be like shut up. You know, it'd be like, I'll talk to you about my girl. Emily's got a flathead pencil. And you go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful flathead. I bought her a square pillow. I love her so much. <laughs> Just for your flathead. I love you. <laughs> She's so pretty. Torpedo. We know. We know. But we'll do a refresher. A torpedo is a makeshift maxi pad. And we call them torpedoes because they're in the shape of a torpedo. And that's funny. You put one on the front and the back if it's skid mark season. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> Paper towel absorbs best. Puffy pussy is self-explanatory. That girl's got a puffy pussy. <laughs> you know what's funny? You think I'm being funny or gross. It's not a code word, but my family says that all the time. All the, You heard. Yeah. Yeah, it's a clip. Viral. <laughs> puffy pussy. It's just funny. I know I'm missing some. That's all I, it says, etc. Puffy pussy, etc. Bubbler means queef. We've discussed that before. None of these code words are for anything sweet or positive. <laughs> as I'm reflecting on my family, it's pussy, farts, 
Puffy Pussy Skid Mark Catchers Butt Chewing Tobacco <laughs> Hmm Yeah Nothing positive I'll change that We gotta figure out one It's too late We're grown up <laughs> It's done That's all my notes How long have we been rolling here Tiger? Uh, 38 minutes it's been a hot 40. I got to give you a little more Gus. Gas. Gus Gas. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> yeah, I'm just tired. I'm just always tired. Uh, good problems, though. Just living, the, living that life. Yeah, can't wait to get set up. Getting Marlo's own room over here. And uh, a little... A little I'm going to get a stencil for the wall. Just organizing everything. Like, look, you see. Oof. We're doing good, though. Everything's pretty. It's just finishing touches. I don't like thinking about moving and organizing. I think you see my soul leave my body. I go, <laughs> we're doing pretty good, though. Oh. Especially with the ADHD, OCD brain. Also, I don't believe in labels. Labels. I know I say ADHD a lot. I don't fuck your science. I don't trust you. Math, six feet. We all saw what happened with that. I made it up. The little fucking monkey man made it up. Then he little. Then he looked like a stupid little small monkey. Doctor <laughs> Fauci. Fuck you, Fauci. I wanted to go hard in the paint, but they would have deleted my YouTube. So I lied to everybody and mildly talked shit. I probably still talked a lot of shit. Oh yeah, pretty much. That's me dialing it back. I wanted to say, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Buck, fucking liars gotten paid handsomely the whole time. Paid off. Anyways. Oh, no. What was I talking about? It's gone now. I went down Fauci. Rewind. What was right before Fauci? ADHD. That's right. Yeah. Hope so. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at the perfect example. You know how many times I'll talk about something to somebody and then just stop talking? And they'll be like, well? I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Like, you were telling me a story about something. I can't even come up with an example right now. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, shit, I was. And I'll finish. Ugh, it's hard. I like Gabor Mate's explanation of ADHD and it's just trauma when you're a kid. What happens when when you, you, you just check out, you know? So, like, it's, uh, he talks about it on Rogan, several podcasts. Check out Gabor Mate. He's uh, the damn sweetest man doing big things. And he's been in the field for, like, 30, 40, 50 years. So, the motherfucker knows what he's talking about. Anyhow, yeah, so you just check out and trying to organize something when you constantly check out. and You'll go into the room to do it. And then you don't even know what you're in that room for? You know how crazy that is? Ugh. Why do you think I do drugs, man? No. Did. Did drugs. These don't count. Yeah, it's just... uh, Fucking... What is it? It's... It's... Time-consuming is what it is. Because if I'm manic in a good way... And on task, I can knock out like 14 things off my list. If I have ADHD, dog, I'll get two done. Oy, I need an assistant. I'm going to hire one. It's ridiculous. They'll just help me make way more money anyways. It's worth it. Just literally a stay on tasker. I need a stay on tasker that can type because I'm going to do, do, do. <laughs> just, uh, just get... Literally, Eric's blown up too and getting a lot of work and doing this, this, that, and winning to where he was my guy, Eric Friedman, my road dog. But he's he's too busy now too. I literally have to be like, God, oh, just come down. I'll pay you. Just just keep me on task. Just stay on the pad, Greg. Stay on the pad. <laughs> Squirrel. Oh, yeah. Where? Sugar? Candy? What? <laughs> Booty? Chewing tobacco? Let's go. Make fun of her. Toothly. Pencil. Those are the callbacks, folks. Come on now. <laughs> Pencil, the two flea can hear you. Uh, yeah. So how I operate with this? Mostly, what's crazy is a lot of motherfuckers are just like me. 
They go to the garage and don't know what they're in the garage for. I have notes, notes, the notes, 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 notes. Write it down immediately for the love of God and look at your notes. And then you'll be like, oh, shit. I forgot to do that two months ago. <laughs> My tags are expired. Damn, it's crazy. But I got the, the mania in a good way to where one day I'll just turn up at night and get like all of it done and organize and build the furniture finally. Like I won't build it for a month and then in one night I'll build four things. Just bugged out on liquid IV energy. Just go, 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 go. go. Where's the Allen wrench? My fingers hurt. <laughs> yeah, those are my systems. Hire somebody, or if you can't afford it, ask someone. Can you just help me stay on task? Um, hire his systems, notes, 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 notes. Stay on task. Good luck. And motherfuckers who don't have this, God bless you. How? How do you? How are you not rich yet? If you can just stay <laughs> on task, you know, you could actually remember stuff. I don't know, dog. <laughs> I feel like motherfuckers that complain about money, that like, there is, it is everywhere, especially in Los Angeles. Hot Wheels to shoe game to tea parties to my buddy kills it selling pork casings, pork intestines for sausage makes a very lucrative income. He sells pigs buttholes. <laughs> you understand there's money and everything. It's fucking. It's just a bad attitude. Speaking of money, I bought this. It's a Mayu water spinner. Because I got a Berkey water and you're supposed to drink a live structured water. Yeah, I'm a hippie. I drink the Kool-Aid. I drink this shit. What's happening? Oh, nice. I improv tax me. We're just winning again. That's my uncle's 80th birthday. I don't know if I could do it. Oh, no. Why didn't I put it on mute? Go away opportunities good stuff good stuff i don't think i could do it though uncle terry's 80th birthday gotta be there for that one i love him anyways mayu water spinners so you're supposed to drink alive water structured water mineralized water uh sorry about that our water's trash we i think we all know that it's got fluoride microplastics this this that water in nature all is like alive spring water it comes from inner the earth or the mountain moving down the creek and the river and you're supposed to drink moving the live water. Doesn't that make sense? The way the good Lord intended, even if you don't believe in that shit. Natural, before we were putting PFAs in the fucking river. Doesn't that sound better than these dirty, rotten plastic pipes full of moldu, mildew, whatever you call it. Anyhow, I bought a fancy-ass water system to clean my water because we're, 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 what, 70% water? And then this thing spins it. And you want to know the real reason I got this shit? Because Woody Harrelson has a water spinner. <laughs> oh, Woody motherfucking Harrelson has a water spinner. If he has a water spinner, I'm getting a water spinner. And so it's supposed to move your water and make it healthier and better. And there's all sorts of science behind it. I didn't need none of it because Woody Harrelson has this. So if he's got it, I wanted it. It's on Amazon. And I bought this shit and it spins your water. We're getting the call. Oh, no. Oh, Greg. I'll call you right back. Greg Wallach. Love him. Good man. Oh, he's going to help me with my special, too. Anyways, that spins it in a little torpedo. Tornado. <laughs> Tornado, you sickos. And uh, I don't know. It's fucking cool. It's like a gadget. Don't get me going with gadgets. And, uh, yeah, like I said, Woody, Woody Harrelson works out his dick with wet towels. That man knows something. That's a wise, wise man. I don't know if that's true. I heard it once when I was 15. Never left my brain. Been respecting Woody Harrelson ever since. I'm up to six wet towels now. Fucking boner lifts, dog. And uh, he has this. So I'm like, I love you, Woody. He's in Cheers. He's in Zombieland. He's in Natural Born Killers. Check him out. And I don't know if you heard of him. 
I said, not no. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to end this podcast here. Yeah, that's it. Just winning, winning, winning. Blessed. Son's healthy. He's cute as fuck. He's growing so fast. He's gone. He's heavy now. He's got these porky little cheeks. He's so <laughs> cute. Um. Oh, I got this new photo of him at the beach. It's so cute. We'll insert it here. Marlo's healthy. Me and my girl are winning. Um, my family's, yeah, we're winning, dog. I'm just happy. Happy camper. Trials and tribulations of life. And uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. Even the bad. Get over it, you pussy. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's hard. I know it's so hard. Eat the mushrooms. You'll be all right. I love you all. Go get yourself a water spinner, some wet towels. Do some workouts. <laughs> get yourself some colors, mushroom gummies. Lucy 15, 15% off. Oh, I should announce that, but it's not ready yet, and I don't know when it's going to be. But who cares? It's so exciting. Uh, I'm working with Colors and Mushrooms Gummy on my own flavor, and the flavor's been chosen. It's sour pineapple, and we just finished the designs, and it's going to be white label with a white cap, and it's going to be a Colors Lucy Goosey Edition Sour Pineapple. It was a point three though. I put a little extra. <laughs> put a little extra. No, I believe they're point two. That was a joke. And uh, that would be funny if I did the double <laughs> dose. Come on now. You want to get goosed? <laughs> no, we'll leave it regular. That way, any newcomers, you know, I, you know, we'll get uh, Lucy Goosey and then later we'll release like Goosey Goosey or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just love you all. And uh, thank you for riding with me on this wild ass journey because this shit's crazy to me. Follow your motherfucking dreams. Go for that shit. If I could do it, you could do it. That's 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 not my words. Pharrell, he said it. This none of it's mine. No, I, I just downloaded the data, and I'm glad I listened to Tupac and Pharrell and whoever else. Mainly Tupac. <laughs> Come with me, Hail Mary. No, no, uh. Not all of his lyrics. He's just good. He went a little crazy at the end. <laughs> That's why I like him. <laughs> but the early stuff, you listen to Me Against the World, that shit is so profound. Unconditional love. Brenda's got a baby. Shed so many tears. And then you listen to Hit Him Up, you're like, oh, Jesus, Tupac. <laughs> you were angry. Anyways, good man. Good man. Yeah, that's it. I love you all. Get yourself some mushroom gummies. Go to nature. Be good to yourself, as the great Theo Vaughn says. And, uh, yeah, yeah, keep your thoughts good. Because when they're good, you know, it shows up. And when you go to war, not so good, huh? Not so good. Yeah, I know, easier said than done. I battle it every fucking day. You literally heard me on the podcast. Grow, not you, multinational. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, a, it's a battle. Anyways, I love you all. Tune in. I'll see you soon. Go to the show. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hello, hello.